Yeah, he's out there. Monday morning, Mike Murfield's daughter excitedly called him and told him to put his drone up. Took off, flew up, and straight out for me, uh, picked it up right away. In the marsh that backs up to his yard, he'd found an alligator. It was holy smokes moment. It's interesting. It's a little scary. Just up the street, Megan Mann sums up how the neighborhood Facebook page took the news. People in the neighborhood are sort of going, OK, do we put our house up for sale? We have a pretty good vantage point. She spent the day watching the marsh from a back window. Do we put up signs that say warning gators present? Everyone's biggest question is how. We're nowhere near any part of any large body of water, it didn't saunter down I-35. We have a lot of alligators in Texas. Jonathan Warner leads the alligator program for Texas Parks and Wildlife. DFW is on the fringe of gator range, but they wander dozens of miles, especially this time of year, and they're shy unless you feed them. Best advice is to just, just uh, you know, enjoy the sighting, but stay away from it and certainly don't try to uh, attempt to catch it or kill it. It takes one incident for something bad to happen. Warner guesses it's likely a six to eight foot young adult, no clue on the gender. Man's worry is her two year old daughter. He could have a family. Who knows if there's more than one alligator in there? I mean, one gator is cool. Two or three is a problem, you know. But most are embracing the subdivision's new mascot nickname still pending. Alley Gator or <laughs> Gary Gator. Wildlife doesn't plan to move it, but says it could be gone for good in just days. Ever since we moved into here, I joked about it, saying there's alligators back here. Murfield wanted the lot that backed up to nothing. It's the interstate and the sunset. Now he's got a new feature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In Argyle. Got an alligator. I'm William Joy.